hospital. I'll just tell a short biography of Dr. Rakisa. He was born in 21st September in 1932 in Patna. He was an exceptionally brilliant student throughout his career. He passed at that time, that was called matriculation of that, that SSC in 1948 from Pabla Jilla School. He passed his HSC from Dhaka College in 1950. He, he was graduated or he, got, he passed his MBBS from Dhaka Medical College in 1955. He was awarded a gold medal for achieving the highest mark in the then Pakistan. All Pakistan means Western is Pakistan. He joined as Eastern Surgeon in 1956 in Dhaka Medical College and Hospital. And later in 1959, he became the Register in Medicine. In 1960 March, he went to UK for his higher study. He got MRCP, or he passed in MRC, he bought in cardiology and internal medicine in 1962. After Dr. Abbi finished his postgraduate study in the UK, he returned to East Pakistan in 1st January 1963, where he became an associate professor of medicine at Dhaka Medical College. Sooner, he was promoted to professor of cardiology in Dhaka Medical College in 1968. He was one of the youngest MRCP holder or staff member to achieve this promotion in Dhaka Medical College at the age of 36. Dr. Rabbi was an exceptional clinician, physician, good teacher, as well as a renowned medical researcher. He had his research-based article which were published at that time in British Medical Journal and also in Lancet. of 1971, you know that is the time of the liberation war of Bangladesh. In 1970, when the repression of East Pakistanis reached a peak, Dr. Rabbi, he was awarded really as the best professor award of that time by the Pakistani government. But he refused to accept the, this, this award because of the repression. Bengali, Bengalis by the Pakistanis. In 1971, he and his wife became completely engaged in the liberation war of Bangladesh. Both of them, they helped the freedom fighters and their family also by medical help, surgical help, providing money, shelter, test production, etc. at the time in 1971. Many of you will know, on 15 December 1971, a group of Pakistani army, with the help of al Badr, abducted him from his residence at Shiddashri. He was taken to Muhammadu Physical Training Institute, from there to Rayar Badr, and he was brutally killed with many other intellectuals. Why? The Bangladesh Liberation War was ending, almost ending. At that time, he was killed brutally. The nation, the country, lost a brilliant clinician, physician, a good teacher, and researcher. 
Till now, some of the students are alive. I think uh, me and I'm not his direct student. I was uh, in, as a student of literary class at the time. In our college also. Still, we remember him. He he is not he is physically not with us, but more, of, of of all of whom will remember him. And one thing, because he was a resident of Dhaka uh, Medical College Hostel, main hostel. You know, in 1972, this hostel, it is named as Dr. Fadir Rabbi Hall. So Dr. Fadir Rabbi, we remember him, he will be with us throughout our life. Thank you very much for the present sharing. Thank you.